don't you look? Hi, stop. Children are natural players from the very beginning. It's how they learn, engage and discover their world. But I'm your friend too. But starting next year, the government wants four and five-year-old brains, like these in Leeds, to be tested in the first six weeks of school. And it's coming up against opposition. For the man. We seem to be testing and testing and testing and testing. And teachers and head teachers don't want this tested situation to, to continue. We want it reduced. And we need to be nurturing these children. We need to get them enjoying school, not preparing them for, for a test situation. Many of them will only be 48 months old. And schools say they already have ways of observing a child's development. This new test would add to that workload. For this assessment, the children will be taken out of the classroom, away from their new friends, for about 20 minutes. It'll be a one-to-one -one with their teacher who'll ask them questions on a tablet. The whole scheme will cost the government £9.8 million. But the Department for Education maintains that it's not the pupils it's examining. It's not even about the children, it's about the school. It's about how do you hold a school account in a fair way that measures the progress of a child from when they start in reception to when they leave in year six. It's a much fairer way, but to do that, you need to have a baseline from which to measure their progress. That's all it's about. Schools won't be given the results, though, but they will be judged. Gemma Moss is a literacy professor. She chaired the panel who evaluated the tests. We think they are not fit for purpose. They won't tell teachers anything that they don't already know about children. They're not going to be used to inform teaching and learning in classrooms. Come back, One, two, three. And numeracy, language and communication can be assessed in other, less formal ways, something so many parents agree on. The idea that they're actually going to take them out one at a time to, to sit a formal test for 20 minutes fills me with horror. Our daughter isn't capable of focusing for that length of time on anything and if you take her and ask her to identify numbers or letters she freezes up and finds it really difficult and I just think it's likely to influence her feelings about school from the start. For me you know that 10 million pounds could be better spent um, on extra educational uh, teachers or extra equipment for the schools. Despite their objections, the test will be piloted in September, with plans to roll it out nationally in 2020. But in the meantime, these developing minds can get on with the real business of childhood. Lucy Watson, News at 10.